Hey guys, so there's pretty much one month and 13 days until the next bonus experience. So what I thought I'll do is I'll post a video just talking about a few tips here and there that might become useful for some of you, but obviously my, depending on what you're doing on the bonus experience weekend, it might not be beneficial for everyone. But hopefully these tips can become beneficial for this weekend or even for like the next bonus experience weekend. So the last bonus experience weekend was actually on February. And they gave us a few weeks, you know, notice, but this time they've given us almost a month and a half's notice, you know, so we can all prepare well. So this video should hopefully help you to prepare also for that. So I'm not going to go through skill for skill. I'm just going to talk about three different subjects. So farming, buyables and unused items. So first of all about farming. With farming, I strongly recommend that you plant all your plants and make sure that they survive the night and make sure that you have enough plants ready for you to put back into the soil um, because you don't want to waste time on the weekend no one wants to waste time so make sure you have everything ready for the weekend to replant new things because farming um, is not the cheapest skill unless you're doing like wilderness warbands but me personally I prefer to do wilderness warbands and also the normal methods it's just more experience throughout the day but um, I strongly recommend that you have everything ready for you to check the health on on the day because you know throughout the night plants might die so you've got to be really careful you know you want to pay the farm as you can but you've got to be really careful to make sure that nothing died over the night or some people prefer to leave a whole day's gap just to make sure that everything survived and so if something died you can replant it and hopefully it will grow for the next day which will most likely be the bonus experience day and if you are going to be planting more plants throughout the bonus experience day, make sure that you have everything in the plant pot ready for you to put back into the soil to check on it later on in that day or the next morning. So keep that in mind because it could become a useful tip. Okay, so the next subject is buyables. Now that kind of includes like herb lore, summoning, smithing, construction, all the skills that you can buy the items for that you don't have to collect them yourself. Um, so I strongly recommend that if you're now don't get me wrong if you're poor you might as well get the items yourself and collect them yourself and um, because obviously you know some of us can't afford it but if you can afford it and you're going to be buying the items yourself for a buyable skill i strongly recommend that you're really really careful of when you buy it because like directly the bonus experience was announced items shot up like 30 40 some items actually went up 200 percent, which means that people are paying double already for an item that will most likely drop in the next few weeks. You know, because we still have a month, well, I'm gonna say five weeks until the next bonus experience weekend, that is a lot of time for more items to come into the game, which means that if everyone has already bought up all their supplies for bonus experience weekend, all these extra items coming in mean that the prices will drop. So I personally think that if you are gonna be buying items for the bonus experience weekend, you wait until they drop to an amount that you can afford it, you know. So don't panic buy right now. There's no rush to panic buy. There's still five weeks for you to prepare on what to do on the bonus experience weekend. You know, five weeks for you to make more money. Five weeks for you to check the graphs to see when's the best time to buy. So you have a lot of time to actually prepare for this bonus experience weekend. You know, even though it's double experience, which just means you save half the time or half the amount and the time. Um... You know, it's it's not something worth losing millions over because I've had so many friends have actually quit the game after the bonus experience weekend. You know, I can at least name five players on my friends list that quit the game after bonus experience weekend. Like they bought items, they used everything up, and after bonus experience weekend, they're like, you know, now what? You know, I have no money. Have I've spent everything? You know, so be really careful with where you spend your money, um, because you just don't know what could happen. Now. On the weekend, unless you're desperate, like I just made some prayer potions here. So unless you're desperate for money, do not panic sell those prayer potions. Because everyone will be making items like these and they'll be just instantly selling them in the Grand Exchange. And there's not enough buyers to actually buy them up to keep the price balanced. So do not panic sell unless you're desperate for money. Because always like three days after the bonus experience weekend, prices have kind of usually gone up to normal. And you can usually not lose as much if you wait a few days you know but unless you're desperate or you need the money just you know it's up to you this is just my advice 
And finally, when it comes to all unused items, I'm, I'm now making some more prayer potions, which is like Raynar, Potion Unfinished, and Snape Grass. All unused items, I strongly recommend that if you just didn't get the chance to sell them a few hours before the bonus experience weekend was over, you know, that's when the prices usually seem to peak and then start to drop. Um, if you didn't manage to sell them at the peak, or if they've dropped under the price that you bought at, you know, and you don't want to lose any money, I strongly recommend that you follow what I said a few seconds ago. You know, wait a few days because prices will go back up to normal because everyone's going to start panic selling the items they didn't use. You know, usually dragon hides are one of the biggest dropping items. And I've had a few friends I've lost loads of money in that. And me personally, I've made money, you know, on bonus experience weekends because people panic sell. And what flippers and merchants do, they take advantage of people's impatientness and they, they look for ways to make money, you know, which is quite reasonable in a way because they're buying items that people just, they don't want and they're instantly selling. So I strongly recommend that if you don't want to lose much money and you're not desperate for cash, as I said already, you wait a few days before selling all your unused items because usually people buy either too little or too much of an item, you know. Like on my first bonus experience weekend, I swear I had like double the supplies that I could even use up if I was spending every single hour playing RuneScape for the whole weekend, so I over-prepared. So if you were like me on any weekend, and you, or even this weekend, that you over-prepare, do not panic sell your item, just wait a few days, and prices usually do go back up to normal, because they still wanted items, but it just means at one point, there's just too many people selling, and not enough people buying. And then eventually it will equalize, it should just be patient. So thanks guys for watching, I hope this was like a little tip for you guys that hopefully you can enjoy and hopefully you can save money. You know, that's what this whole weekend is about, saving a bit of money and saving time. You know, that's what the only reason why Bonus Experience is here for those two things. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.